All right. Do women in Singapore take enough risks? And what are the issues and challenges facing women here right now? Well, a wide range of topics related to women in the community are being discussed at the fifth installment of this annual International Women's Conference. Some 200 participants, many prominent female leaders and students from around the world will share their experiences at the Singapore Management University over these three days. And to tell us more about it is Ms. Claire Chiang, chairperson of the Shirin Foster program which is under the custodianship of the We Kim We Center at SMU. So Claire, a pleasure having you in studio today. Hi. Let's start with um, the conference. Many themes over the years and this year the theme is the power of the mind. So break it down for us. First it's important that the women think and to think about the future and think about designing maybe the future. That's why the mind that works. And if you break it up, the acronym to M-I-N-D, mind, mindfulness, I, to integrate or innovate, and to network. Don't do things alone. Get into the collective and the movement. And D is for decisions, making decisions, taking the risk to make the decisions and try and try again to get to where you want to go. So it is so important, therefore, that the mind that works to reshape a new world order. That's why the theme of the, co of the conference this year. So the conference explores a lot of topics. I was going through the whole list, so right. many things right. you're talking about. It's also a very good opportunity for Singaporean women to learn from people overseas, right. their experiences. So why do you think that kind of exposure is important? I think that they have a platform where women tell the stories. The narrative methodology, I think, is a very powerful one. Because you are actually demonstrating that you have done this. And people looking at older women having done the journey, they suddenly realize they can do it too. So I think this kind of role modeling is important. And it's also good that we share our mistakes, our failures, because for them, for young people, that is almost like a taboo word, failure. So for us to actually articulate failures, and which is what I did this morning, some of the young people came and said that it really gave them the lift. And they felt that they can make mistakes too. So, so they they're given the, the permission, they have the confidence. I think that's important. But what would you say are the two, maybe one or two key challenges and issues facing women in Singapore today, especially working women with you know, strong careers? I think navigating the office dynamics is one. Strong women with a career mind might hit the ceiling, the steel ceiling, or not the glass ceiling, the steel ceiling. So how do you navigate the waters and how do you stay firm? How do you stay above waters and yet hold your own and get to where you want? Mm -hmm. That requires a lot more resilience. It requires you showing that you're good at what you're doing. You don't have to compete with a man. You don't have to even compete with women. You don't have to compete with what is sort of like out there. Mm -hmm. You just have to do your level best and give your level best. But do you think that women also need to get out of that mindset, especially in the workplace, that there are gender stereotypes that, you know, they're maybe not as good as other people, especially men? I think there will always be prejudices and stereotypes, and the vice versa. I don't really like to see the uh, competition between men and women. Uh, yes, how do we overcome these stereotypes? As I said earlier, mm -hmm. do your best. If you have the competences and you show it, the bosses should recognize it. And if they don't, it's no, it's no point staying on. And therefore, it is crucial that women constantly upgrade themselves, mm -hmm. learn how to um, communicate and negotiate, how to then solve conflicts, and then be explicit about what they want. So Claire, earlier you mentioned having the right competencies. Mm. So one of the interesting parts of your conference is called skill sets for the future. So right. if there were one skill set you think Singaporean women should have uh, and should you know, cultivate even stronger in the future, what would it be? How to resolve conflict. Okay. How to overcome uh, criticisms. How to navigate through all these troubled waters, so-called. And yet stay firm, stay sure and be confident about yourself and what you have to offer. All right, thank you very much. It was a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you for coming today. And that was Ms. Claire Chiang telling us more about the conference, Women in the Community.